All right, today we're gonna to talk about using the Blackmagic Ultra Mini Studio Recorder to interface your camera, in this case a uh, Panasonic G7 uh, mirrorless camera, to your computer, which will be a MacBook Pro, to use it as an input for Skype. Now, that's kind of what I was planning on doing when I, when I bought all this stuff. Um, also, I do live streams, and there'll be videos about that. And, but one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to use my good camera to do um, Skype interview calls and stuff like that. And the Blackmagic uh, Ultra Mini Recorder, which is a Thunderbolt, let's see if you can see it here, see if I can get it to focus. This might help if I actually hit the right button. Anyway, so it has a Thunderbolt port on one side, HDMI and SDI on the other, and uh, it's a metal construction, a really solid box, uh, and it works really great with a couple little caveats. Now, when I first tried to connect this up to work with Skype, it didn't work. I'm using seven point, uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to double check, seven point something, and uh, it wouldn't work as an interface, it wouldn't come up. It would just give me a black screen or it wouldn't work. Every once in a while I might get it to work, but I could never replicate it. And then if you do a search online, for the most part, it says they, you know, Skype broke it a bunch of versions ago and it just, you're kind of out of luck. Well, I got frustrated a while back and I decided to take a, uh, a methodical approach to try to figure out if I could make it work. Because, I mean, it is something that would be nice to, to, uh, to have work, right? So the other thing I wanna say is I'm using one of the new MacBook Pros, uh, the one with the USB-C. So what I did do is I got a dongle that goes from USB-C to Thunderbolt 2. Um, that works fine. Um, I use this setup uh, for a weekly live stream I do on a different channel and it works good. Now I do have to do the same technique I'm gonna talk about here to get it to work reliably in Wirecast, but we'll talk about that in another video. But here's, here's what I wanna do. So the thing is, is you have to be methodical about how you connect it up. So let me, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the computer, computer running here. And I'm going to just bring up Skype. So, and I'm gonna have, so this computer will come up, you'll see, you'll see some, some things come up and all that kind of great stuff. And I'll just go ahead and make it full screen. And what we'll do is we'll go into settings and if you go in the video notification, you'll see that uh, um, the webcam pops up. Um, I'm just gonna do same as system for right now for, for the audio. And uh, actually, let me back up, I'll do, and then I'll just do the HD camera. So, so here we go. We got this running, and if you look down here right now, and I have, I do use Wirecast, so that's why the Wirecast virtual camera is coming up, but the Blackmagic Studio Ultra is not coming up. Now, here's the thing. You have to do this in steps, which is really kind of frustrating, but this is the way I've been able to make this work. So first things first, I'll just plug the cables back in. So I have this going. I'll plug this into the Blackmagic Mini, Mini Recorder and I'll go ahead and plug it into a port on my computer. And I give it a couple of seconds and we'll see, okay, so it just popped up. So we see it pops up with the black screen. That is actually a really good sign. If you get to this point, then like it generally works after that. So what you do then, and here's the key. If you keep all this connected, and this is the mistake I had, is I had my gear all set up. I had the camera plugged in. Um, to HDMI into all this stuff. I had it all set up and it would just not work. And then I'd have to get up and unplug the camera, go back and forth to where it would finally sync up. So the thing is, plug in, turn everything on, plug in the, the, the mini recorder first, let it get recognized by the system. Then what you do, and I'll go ahead and put this in on, uh, so we'll go ahead and Plug it into the HDMI port. Uh, hopefully you can see that there. And uh, turn the camera on, which it is on. So let's see here, I'll go like this so you can kind of hopefully see the, the, see the, the display. And, and, and then what you do is you plug it into the encoder. Now, what I did do for this camera right here, I mean, this is a shorter cable and initially I had a longer Thunderbolt 3 cable or Thunderbolt cable. 
and I actually would strap this to the leg of the tripod. It worked out really great. It was a nice little configuration, kept everything together. The problem is, is that you have to start this disconnected. If you start it disconnected, you're fine. If you start it connected, you're, it's not, it's not going to be fine. And then you end up unplugging it all the time. So now what I'll do is I'll just unplug this in. You'll see the camera's going to resync and bam over here on within the display on, uh, let's do it like this. So you can kind of see, I think I'm in auto. So let's see what we got here. Uh, program mode. Anyways, so now it's now it's up, right? So now if I use this camera as a as a camera on me, it's working and I'm let's see here, it's not really focusing real well. There we go. But uh, so now we have that we have that working. And that okay, then what you would do on that is set up the uh, the camera as the microphone for the Blackmagic audio microphone and you're good. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you have it set up any other way, you're hosed. If you disconnect it, you need to start over. One thing I noticed um, is if I had, like let's say I was using Wirecast and it connected to it, if, if any other application is connecting to the Blackmagic Ultra Mini Recorder first, you're gonna run into problems. And, and technically, if that happens, um, what I'll, you basically just disconnect it, right? So like, let's say this wasn't working, what I would do is I would, you know, let's see if I can get a, get a, uh, um, man, I can't really get it in. I'm going to unplug the, the whole setup from the computer. Now here, here's the thing. If I plug it back in, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but there's a good chance it's going to come up and not sync correctly. Okay. So now this is actually, sometimes if it comes up like in the three by four aspect ratio, you even have more problems. But and more than likely, if I disconnect, since we got the black screen, so it's already detected this, if I plug this in back in, it there's a good chance it'll pop back up, and it does. Sometimes it'll sync to a different frame rate, and that will complicate it, but that is it. It's simple. Now, what I'll tell you is, is that the times I was trying to do this while setting up for an interview where I had everything set up, I had the lights set up, I had everything ready to go, and I go to plug this in, and it didn't work, it was really frustrating. And when you're trying to troubleshoot it, it's a, while you're talking to somebody, it's really tough. Now, right now I'm, I'm using, this is the, the G7 that I was talking about a minute ago, and a great camera. Um, the, what I'm recording this on uh, right now is a G85. Uh, the main, re well, one, I had a camera break, but the main reason I bought the G85 is because the G85 will export HDMI and allow me to record. So what I'll do when I'm doing those interviews is I'll record on this camera, on the camera I'm pointing at you at right now, the G85, run that into Skype, have the call so they're getting the good audio, they're getting the good video. I can record the Skype call or they can do the same thing if they know how to do it. But if not, I'll just record the Skype call using the Ecamm um, Skype recorder application, which I'll leave links to all this stuff in the links um, in the description below. And uh, it works great. Now I'll tell you the last time I tried to do this before I finally got irritated to figure this out, what I ended up doing is I couldn't get it to work. I recorded on the camera by itself. And then I used a uh, Logitech C930 to run the call. And it was very frustrating and it just was adding extra steps. But this, doing what I just said, seems to be the key for everything. The same thing works for the Zoom application and I'll probably make a separate video for that. And if you're having problems in Wirecast and your cameras aren't coming up, if you do the exact same setup, even if you have it set up and the uh, Wirecast is running and you're not seeing the cameras, if you disconnect it, disconnect it from the camera, plug it in, then plug the camera in, it, it pops right up. Um, I, and one of the reasons why I'm making this video is I have searched all over the place trying to find this answer. I've searched on forums, I've searched on Blackmagic forums, I've searched on uh, the Skype forums, I've searched on, I mean, you know, YouTube, every place I could think of. No, it could be there, I couldn't find it. And if you're beating your head against the wall like I was, hopefully this will help you out. And I know it sounds really simple, but what I will tell you when I went to test this, I set the computer up, I had a note, uh, notebook, I wrote everything down and it took me a few tries to get this. I would even reboot the computer every time. But since running through the scenario, this works consistently with everything. So like for instance, if I tried to go into Wirecast and if it wasn't working, 
um, th that's what I would do. I mean, in the past, I would reboot the computer and, you know, and hope that everything would come up. And this, this actually works. So hopefully this will help you because it was driving me up the wall. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you, if you have another workaround on how to make this work, please leave that in the comments below. And uh, thanks. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. And I will chat with you on the next video. Take care. Bye.